How to make a see-through grandma curtains in Blender, which should be fun and granny should tag along with you watching, so let's make this short. Let's have the curtains or a simple plane if you're following with us, and just open a shading editor by dragging the window's corner, then hit the new button to add a material to the mesh. What we need now is an image texture, so hit Shift A to add it, then open it and choose any lace fabric texture you have and they are widely available online, so pick and choose. Connect the texture to the principled BSDF, color to color, then for the fabric scale, we can add a mapping node and a texture coordinate, or just hit Control T on the image texture if you have the node wrangler on. The coordinate UV will go into the mapping vector, and we can, in the mapping scale, change the numbers to play with the pattern. If I add a monkey behind this curtain, the see-through effect isn't working yet, but we can fix that easily by connecting the texture's color to the principled alpha, and it should work fine with this, but you can control that more with a color ramp on this alpha line and play with its black value to reveal more from the texture. You can also add a bump node to the BSDF normal and connect the ramp color to its height, then make it on low strength value but the effect can vary based on the texture you have, and I don't think this one does a lot for the look of the curtains, so in general, you only need the texture color on the BSDF diffuse and alpha connection. And that's it. Now you have more topics to talk about on your grandma's next birthday, so have fun. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.